being somebody that are like, yeah, you're not going, you're not going to be here for a long time. I've seen endless people. But what does that look like? I mean, it just look like they won't be here for long. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know how to explain it to you. Like, I don't know. Just look like, like certain beginners, you can still tell that they're going to be, you know, they're going to be, um, they're going to be all right. They're going to get, they're going to figure it out. But certain people, you be like, Nah, might as well pack it up, go on back to the campus. <laughs> you, ever, you ever be like, uh, you ever give them that advice ahead, or you just, they're going to they're gonna realize it? We're not talking enough. No? Okay. No. <laughs> you the new girl, you do not get talked to when you the new girl. Okay. Unless you like me, when I was the new girl, you, was you talking to me. Mm-hmm. You can't avoid me. Ain't no, it's I'm straight busting through the doors. I got enough personality to know all bucks that y'all not stepping on my toes, mm. and I'm in these bags mm. too. So I I came out busting with that personality, like that was trying to shun. Mm-hmm. And no, you're gonna talk to me. Y'all gonna yeah what? Y'all gonna talk to me? I love it when you especially like I like first coming to stadium like the mean girls. Mm. Mean girls, what? Now I'm one. I, what, what are you, what's going on? <laughs> like they retired now, they still there. I mean, stadium was closed. <laughs> no, I'm talking about so, the mean girls. I mean, mean girls, the same mean girls. <laughs> I still work with their assets. Okay, oh. same ones. <laughs> but yeah, like certain girls, you know, you could tell that. Oh, all right, she here to stay. But certain girls, you like, mm-hmm. that's crazy. Do you um would you recommend um dancing to anybody? Yeah. No. If they were like, "Hey, would it not?" No. Nah. Why? Cuz it's like getting caught up in a world of trying to stop to like it's hard to stop this. Yeah. Cuz the money fast and it's green and they come and you think you want to get it tomorrow. Mm. It's like, oh, "I'm gonna put it up, but no. I need this." <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna go work, I'm gonna get it tomorrow, and then no, it's not a good thing to get, you know. Like it's not something I would recommend to anybody. It should be a last resort. Okay. Now that's what I said. Like it got to be your last resort. Like your last resort, your last thing you out on your ass. Like, huh? Fuck it, yeah, I'm gonna go take this last couple hundred dollars and see if I could. Get some more hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. Like, but it's not nothing that I'd be like, oh, girl, come on. We about to go shake ass. Yeah. No. I would tell you do anything else in the world before you come and dance. That's real. That's real. Easy money. It's not like easy it's money. It's easy money. And just like the niggas in the dope gang, the niggas that sell drugs, they don't want to get out that shit. That shit come fast. That shit's, that shit be flying in. That shit feel good. Man. Like, Non-stop, constant money coming like that feel good. Yeah. So, no, it's nothing that you want to get uh, used to or, you know, like, start doing it. Because once you start doing it, it's a hard game to get out of. Yeah. The money be good. And who the hell want to stop something that the money be good? Nobody. That's facts. Do you feel like when you – um? thank you for that, by the way. Do you feel like when you start making more traction in the music – you're going to leave. I'm out of here. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> Less I'm going to tip you hoes. I'm mm-hmm. yum. Okay. Some of you bitches for my video. Let's go. Right. I'm not trying to be shaking ass and rapping at the same time. So the niggas could come see me for a little bit of money. Right. Instead of seeing booking me for the show. Right. And getting more, getting more money. That would be absolutely crazy. Absolutely stupid. Right. No, that's crazy. But you still gonna have like, um, like the dancing routine to your performances? Do or or do you not make like dance, like ass shaking music? Is it more like? Da, 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 da? Well, my recent music is more like trap music. Like, yeah. Like more like old trap, trap. Like yeah. It's psycho, but it's like it's a little different. 
So I may add shaking music at this point. Not saying that I won't or continue on to make, or, you know, make other ass shaking music. But right now, I'm in a different field. Right now, I'm trying to feel some other shit out. Okay. I'm to grasp other than shaking my ass. Yeah. Talk about some shit I know about. Right. Yeah. Some shit I probably shouldn't have stepped in the field and even know about anyways, but I know. Yeah. So I can talk about it. Yeah. That's real. And now you're expanding your audience, too. Exactly. Give me a pop beat and I'll lava go over there. <laughs> like you never like dead ass serious. I'm with everything I had. And then I feel like I'm like a, such a different person compared to a lot of people. Like I don't ever want to be put in one category. Okay. Because I know so like, mind you, I lived up here with hood rats, but when I moved down the road to Calvert, I was with the white people and mm-hmm. learning country music and pop. Singing mm-hmm. that like, I like music, period. So yeah. I never want to be put in one category ever in life because I like all types of genres of music. Like, I know Leo Soul from anything. Like, I'm telling you, like, you sit down with me and be like, you know that song? Yes, I do. You right. might, I might come across some rock and roll. I know you never know with me, so I don't. Like, you know, right now I'm just trying something different. Like, I might try something different a little while later than that. Like, right. I love different types of music. Like, we're going to see you on, like, a reggaeton song, right? Yeah, I'm going to do reggaeton, right? too. <laughs> yeah, I know I know somebody who makes reggaeton I could put you on. I'll too. do reggaeton, you feel too. Me? Like, international? Hell yeah. Be a crazy motherfucker to miss that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what it's at. No, nah, that's good because you're not limiting yourself. At all. And I can't, I never have in life. Ever. So I can't limit myself. That's why I probably can't just do one job. Like, I have to do so much. Like, ADHD. <laughs> like, I mm-hmm. got to do everything. So you're hyper independent. I am. And that's not good because now I'll be trying to be, like, in my little soft girl era. So it'd be like. It'd be weird, right? kind of be like, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what? Okay, you got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go sit down because you got it. I'm telling you, like, I've learned that from somebody teaching me. And there's right. nothing wrong with knowing it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely nothing wrong with knowing it. But now I'm at a point in my life, like, I, I have a man's man, and my man man kind of be hands-on, and I'll be like, okay, you got it, you got it. I ain't got to worry. I'm like, I don't know how to do that. Or... But that's good, though, right? Like you could, you Absolutely, could, yes. You could breathe. Yeah, a lot. Because I'd have had, man, I'd be like, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> So you don't know where the oil go? <laughs> so you telling me you never popped the hood in this, uh, your car? Nah. No. Uh, what? Watch out. Now I got to walk. There you go. So, like, oh, I got to get underneath the hood. Like, so you telling me you don't know where the antifreeze go? Mm. So you never synced it? <laughs> like, it's like, so I know. And it's like, now, ugh, like, yuck. I, I hate so you that. can't do city boys now, because that sounds like a lot. That sounds like a personality of a city boy. Well, my is a city boy, so but he got all like he he know how to do stuff. I just feel like that's a person like nobody taught these people. Yeah, like you know they were raised by their mothers. Yeah, it's deeper than yeah. So they were raised by their mothers, and their mama not doing that. The mama taking it to somebody else. Mm-hmm. We're getting another man to look at it instead of. The mama learning in order for her to teach her son just a little bit. So you you willing to teach or you I, be like? What? Nah. No, my kids. When I'm doing stuff, come on. Yeah, but not I to got your boys. man though. Not I got to your boys. man. If no. if you have a man, you're not teaching. No, him. I, now you I go. will I will show him if he don't know. Because <laughs> if I gotta show you, I gotta show you. But I'd rather have a man that can do it instead of me be like. Oh. I'm taking notes because you know, like how to be like a perfect man. Just know how to do. <laughs> Cause they gonna they gonna say like so yeah what happened oh, I got you don't worry about it you right a lot of these men just call now uh oh, for that time I gotta mm-hmm. call the people nah, uh, you can switch that right now yeah that's what they do a lot of calling now these men don't know how let me call my message. uncle real quick uh huh hey up <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm out here on three ninety five I got flat bro you coming and you just there waiting like oh. what 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 would you say since so, since we know Keezy isn't in a relationship you it's public right um what would you say were your like red flags when you were dating or when you were out there uncuffed what were you staying away from 
it's not even what I be trying to stay away from. It's like, because... Oh, it's, it's already too late. Mm. <laughs> so it don't be the oh unless it's something trying somebody trying to be like kind of controlled. If person trying to be controlling, then I kind of pick up on that. That makes me stay away. That was a big red flag. Yeah, that was a big big red flag. So, Shout out to early. What it? What? How do you? How can a? How can a man be less controlling? Because that that looks different. You feel me? It could be like, uh, what would it look like to you? Uh, I'm not too much of you going to tell me what to do type of person. So right. You got to kind of let me be me. So the person trying to tell me what I'm going to do, tell me if I'm going to work, tell me that type of mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not a vibe. Would not, it? Not, nothing with controlling my funds anyways. Oh, so it, it, I don't like that. I like to get my own money. So you've had people be like, you don't need it. You you sh- don't, don't dance to today. Work. Yeah. Mm. Don't go to work. But that's how they met you, right? Or Yeah. Some. <laughs> yeah. Most. <laughs> Where they'll be like, don't go to work. I got you. And I'm sitting there looking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you ain't got nothing. Because <laughs> I could have been at work. I could have been at work. Make at least two thousand. God, the humble. I love it. Yeah. He's fifteen hundred. I could be three k up like, right now. You know, something good. I'm looking at you <laughs> playing Xbox. Looking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, uh, what's the most you've made in a night? Thirty nine hundred. <laughs> Almost 4K. Oh, no. I'm lying like shit. I made $6,000. 6000 in one night? Yeah. That's amazing. That's your highest? Or has that, like, happened several times? Nah, that's, that was my highest. $6,000 in one night. That wow. was my highest. I was gonna say. And, and then with the with the amount of money, you, you give it a cut to, like, the promoter? No, I don't give nothing to nobody. The hell? I, give, I pay my... Hundred dollar tip in, hundred fifty dollar okay. tip in. Oh, so that's the tip, though. Okay. And, yeah, I tip the D. I mean, t- might tip the DJ. Might my fucking tip the um, the bottle girl. Okay. Might tip. I'm a tip the floor man, and they're gonna pick my money up, and then whoever helping us straighten the money. Okay, so is the floor man a man or is it anybody? It's a man. Can I can I apply to that? Cause that sounds like good tip. What's yeah. ten percent from six k? That's good money. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't giving you no fucking to us. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. I imagine it makes nice a good try. That's, yeah. He probably even there like what nah, with three hundred or something. No, nah, he probably leave. He probably leave every night from work with at least probably four, <laughs> three probably the less. He probably leaves sometimes with like five, six. Yeah. Is there like an online thing? Or you can to fly. Y'all got to go in person. Like, I got to bring my own like broom or something, or a picker <laughs> scooper or something. Like, let me know. <laughs> you might got to go holler at the manager. I okay. Don't know. Can I name drop? I'll be like, hey, I know Pretty Keezy. I heard she's the meanest, right? <laughs> can I do that? <laughs> I need proof. I need I need video evidence. So I could be like. Look, here's a video. <laughs> what she gonna say? Okay, <laughs> exactly. What the hell? I bring like everything, like clearance and all that. Like one of like, what would be like a bad night for you? Like no money, no money. But that don't happen. Sometimes it do. Yeah, it'd be like random nights or just like a weekday. Like some week, well, I have weekday nights. Sometimes it'd be extra slow. We might not make. Nobody might not make no money at all all night. Mm-hmm. It don't just be me. It'd be the whole damn club, like. Cause it might be a couple hundred dollars in there, and that's probably it. Man. But um, sometimes the club don't always shake. But sometimes we catch the money on the back end because the day it didn't shake, it might shake two times the amount that it didn't shake. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be cool. Okay. Pretty keysy out here. Sometimes there are some bad days. Okay. Yeah, bad days like any anywhere else. You can go just like a drug dealer. You might not catch a hit every day. You might not catch a hit for hours, all day long. You might ain't do nothing. Yeah. 
So it go the same way. Hairstylist too, you might not do nobody hair all damn day. 